Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Sebastian and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about color grading the classic teal and orange look. How to do this in DaVinci Resolve, but first roll the intro. So as you see, we're in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve. And this is our clip. We got some notes here. Turn it on by clicking on this note clip and timeline on and off. I like to have my timeline on because this is our normal clip and this is an adjustment layer, which I always use for color grading. So I'm not color grading right on the clip. So let's just deselect this, right click this node and add a serial node, right click, add node, two corrector nodes and a layer mixer. So now let's go ahead and connect them like this. So this is what we're working with. First of all, let's click the first node and get some basic exposure correction, which we are doing in the curves tab. So let's just drag down our shadows a little bit and drag in the blacks until our highlights coming up again like this. Go a little bit down here. Now what I'm going to do is add some saturation. This depends on the camera you're using. Don't go too high. Just go something around 60. This is fine actually. Let's go down to 58. Okay, so now let's go to the second node and go to the qualifier tab, go to selection range and check this first one. Also go up here, put this on and then zoom in a little bit and select the skin tones like that and then we're gonna denoise it a little to our skin tones come up and we're gonna give it a little clean whites and also check the whole saturation mark so next is we're going to the power window power window here and click this first of all we are dragging this in and make this a little bit smaller drag it right above the face make it smaller so that it covers our face in there so next thing we are going to do is we are going to the vector scope and make sure that there on these dots the skin tone indicator is on because when it's off, you don't see the, the indicator line. So you make this turn on. And now you see a slight bump of exposure down there. And what we're gonna do now is go to the midtones and drag this a little bit down. So that it touches the, the line or is right on the line. We also can go ahead and give the shadows in the face a slight bump in red and orange. And don't go too much. So with that done, we can check this off and check this off. So we've done our skin tones. And now let's go to the teal and orange color grade. 
there are two ways in which you can do them. Either you go to the curves or you do this with the log wheels. I usually do this with the log wheels because it's it gives you a little more control instead of using the curves. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you both. So select the third color correction node. Select the red line and then bring this down. Actually, let's make this bigger again. Let's bring the reds down in the shadows. Just a little bit. Then go to the blues. Bring them up in the shadows a little bit, but also down in the highlights. Now let's go to the green line, put the greens up in the highlights, not too much, and down in the midtones and shadows. So there's our color correction, the teal and orange look, pretty simple. If this is too much for you, you can just, you know. Drag the rats up a bit. So this is pretty basic. This is pretty simple. And you can do this with every single clip you have. If you don't have people in there or skin tones, you don't have to use the skin tones tracker and stuff. You can just go ahead and do this basic color correction to the classic teal and orange look. But let's just uncheck this. Reset node grade. So this is what we have first. And now let's do this with the log wheels. So what we're going to do now is add some slight purple in the shadows. And in the midtones. Let's give it a little good blue. Something around this one. And as you see, there doesn't happen anything if I turn this. This is because the low range isn't set properly. I assume this looks good right here. And let's just drag down our lower range. See what happens now. You see, this turns pretty good something around here and you're basically done now what you can do is you can go ahead in the highlights and add some slight purple like this right click this node Add node, add serial, so we get another node here. And put this out by moving in the opposite direction. So we get just slightly purple in the highlights. And yeah, this is it. You now can go ahead and go to the curves tab. Check this Y button, the luminance. And then you can play around with the luminance as you want it to be. So let's just say something around here is good. So now let's go back to the edit tab. And voila, this is your clip color graded looks good if you want to see the before and after just go to the adjustment clip or to your clip whichever you color graded on and hit d on your keyboard this is now deactivated so you can't see this anymore and this is what it looks before and hit d again this is what it looks after so this is pretty good right 
so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it maybe you learned something new if so please leave a like and yeah that's it see you in the next one bye